Hello all traders. In this lesson of module 1, workshop 1, we discuss the topic of swing high and swing low. As mentioned earlier, the price movement exhibits a wave shape pattern, which can be seen everywhere, regardless of market directions and time frames. If we look at one single wave of price, also known as a swing, it is made of two turning points. The price that is going up reach its highest level at a peak, before reversing down. The highest reversal turning point on the chart is defined as swing high, which is abbreviated as SH. The price that is going down reach its lowest level at a trough, before reversing up. The lowest reversal turning point on the chart is defined as swing low, which is abbreviated as SL. Are there any rules to find swing highs on the price chart easily? Sure, use these three simple steps to identify any swing high quickly. Step 1. Find the peak candle. The peak candle is the one that has the highest high amongst all other candles. Then mark the peak candle, as 0. Step 2. Mark the two candles before the zero candle as minus 1 and minus 2. And after zero candle as plus 1 and plus 2 accordingly. Step 3. If the high of these four candles are sequentially lower than the high of zero peak candle, you identified a standard swing high. You have become familiar with the concepts of swing, swing high, and swing low in this lesson. So, let's practice identifying the standard swing high turning points on some price charts next. Are there any rules to find swing lows on the price chart easily? Sure, use these three simple steps to identify any swing low quickly. Step 1. Find the trough candle. The trough candle is the one that has the lowest low amongst all other candles. Then mark the trough candle, as 0. Step 2. Mark the two candles before the zero candle as minus 1 and minus 2. And after zero candle as plus 1 and plus 2 accordingly. Step 3. If the low of these four candles are sequentially higher than the low of zero trough candle, you identified a standard swing low. You have become familiar with the process of identifying swing high and swing low turning points. So. Let's practice identifying the standard swing low turning points on some price charts next. <laughs> 